We are in Mark chapter 6, uh, finishing up chapter 6, 53 through 56. And this is kind of a, what we see in the Gospels and we see in Acts a lot, uh, what, what we call a summary statement. And Jesus gets over uh, again across the other side of the sea. Uh, he's at Genezaret. And when he gets there, the people know he's there. They start bringing the sick. They start bringing the lame. They start bringing those that need to be cast out demons. And we're told, boom, 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 boom. All that came in that kind of faith were made well. There is a poet who was in the uh, 19th century. His name was S.T. Coleridge, and he talks about his son who uh, woke up in the middle of the night, kind of a nightmarish, kind of just uh, figured out where he was and just calls out to his mom. Mom runs to the room. He yells at him, touch me, mom. Just touch me with your finger. And, and, and the child's mother says, why do you want me to do that? And the boy cries out, uh, because I'm not here. If you touch me, mom, I'll know that I'm here. Well, Donna Miller talks about that in one of his essays. And when he quotes the story, he says this, Essentially, we are all calling out for God to touch us, that we may know we are here, and yet he waits. And we go untouched and seek out the knowing we exist in a thousand other ways. Maybe this story we read today, kind of to have a new light on it, isn't so much about Jesus just bringing a physical healing uh, to these individuals, but everyone who has ever encountered in, uh, Jesus in a healing way has realized something about themselves. And we get, we get to experience something that's even more full than what we had experienced before that encounter. What ways today do you need Jesus to reach out and touch you? And why is it that you pursue him anyway? Uh, and I want you to be honest with yourself. I want you to be honest with somebody about that. Um, is it strictly for the healing or is it, is it so that we can experience life and life to its fullness? Um, or maybe there's another reason. Think about that today. Be blessed by these texts, by these scriptures here, these four verses, and really let them kind of bang around between your ears uh, today and, and be aware of what Jesus is up to. You guys have a blessed day. We'll talk to you soon.